let's start with the, uh, the most important part of it. I'm so glad to see you here today. And uh, now uh, I shall uh, call to the stage our good CEO, Dr. Musa Sheikh, to do the welcome and opening remarks. Uh, this is a Women Entrepreneur Conference and Awards. And any one of you sitting here can get this award. And believe me, we have chosen all the women who are self-employed. They are having their own companies and they are the best in the community. The theme is Balance for Better. And this theme is actually a theme for 2019 for International Women Day. Ideally, it, it's the first balance that we need is the gender balance. Because in the corporate world, still now, if you see Fortune 500 companies, they are still headed by the men, except with few exceptions. I think that this year, all the women need to work on balance of women in the workplace. And there is a study that in a couple of years, the ratio of a man and a woman is going to change dramatically. Means that if currently all over the world, we have a ratio one by four, in the later years, it's going to be 30 women versus one man. So, the future of the world is actually not in the hand of a man. Some kind of education, we have to develop the women for a future leadership. This leadership is in the favor of a man because if the female population is going to increase, then of course, more female has to take part. Now we are fortunate to live in United Arab Emirates. This is an amazing country and it is very smart to take the latest developments. So if you see, uh, in terms of UAE as a role model, there are a lot of women which are already in the ministries, in the government sectors, and if you see even the banking and other organizations, more women are coming in the corporate world. So UAE is very good in getting women on placement in terms of corporate world. But unfortunately, this is not the scenario outside UAE, uh, except the few you will see it's still male dominant society. The Prime Minister will be a man, all the cabinet will be a man. Even the women issues is also settled by, consists on the men. So that's something we really need this year and serious, uh, serious efforts. This forum is your voice, it's a platform where you can meet the equal size women, they are similar to you, they belong to a different country, they have their different skill set, they might speak different languages, but they are dynamic like you. You are amazing women in this hall. All of you. You have a great profile and you have great success. We have the most creative women, we have most influential, we have most innovative, and all that categories are available. So I would request you to take more active role. This is a forum initiated five years before, and we are covering five years now in February. And most important is almost 500 women we have trained and they are doing their own business. And sometimes it is also a case that they are not fully self-employed, but they are doing a better job in the government organizations and private sectors, and then they have their own ventures. Because the theme is that you have to express yourself other than your tactical knowledge that you have. You have to explain your success stories, your problems, your issues, that you overcome and you reach to this level. 
So I was requested to share my story in a small two to three minutes. Um, I was always a unique student and a unique person. In my country, still woman has no such respect and uh, the place and what she should get it. So I was always worried that what will happen to the women when they will start getting education, when they want to marry, they can marry with their own choices. They are not culture bound, they can take their own decisions. If they do a lot of things, they need an approval. And most of the time, these approvals are negative and it kills the dreams of a woman. So, we started with uh, funding the ladies. So, what we did is we start helping the women in terms of cash, um, helping donation charities. But we find it's not that way a solution because once the money will finish, they need more money. So what we need to do is, we need to develop the woman's brain. We should give them money as a capital with a business plan. So they can execute it and they can, and you know that in UAE also, 55% uh, business is from SMEs, small medium enterprises, right? American economy is based on SMEs. Uh, you know that uh, there are some comparative markets like the UK, in Europe, in, th there is no much uh, public jobs available, so people have to create their own jobs. So that's how we started, and as of today, I can proudly tell you that if you have a business idea, you need some kind of funding, you need us to help you in your business plannings, and want to execute some business idea, so we are here to help you. And our target for this year is to reach to a community of the self-employed CEOs, managing director, up to 3,000 women. Already we have a community of almost 1,400 uh, and in 2018 statistics, so adding 1,200 women would not be a great challenge for us. I wish everyone to uh, take up uh, this opportunity and be active and be expressive. I know um, most of you personally because uh, uh, I have been moving in the American Chamber, uh, British Business Club, CEO clubs, and I know I've, I've faced you over years, so I know you personally. So some of them I really don't know and I want to know them today and I will um, listen to your speeches very carefully. I wish to thank you for being here and I wish you will have a lovely day and I hand over the mic to Stephen to continue with the program. Thank you very much. Dr. Moussa Sheikh, 
to do the welcome and opening remarks. Uh, this is a Women Entrepreneur Conference and Awards. And any one of you sitting here can get this award. And believe me, we have chosen all the women who are self-employed. They are having their own companies and they are the best in the community. The theme is Balance for Better. And this theme is actually a theme for 2019 for International Women Day. Ideally, it, it's the first balance that we need is the gender balance because in the corporate world still now if you see Fortune 500 companies they are still headed by the men except with few exceptions I think that this year all the women need to work on balance of women in the workplace and there is a study that in couple of years the ratio of a man and a woman is going to change dramatically. Means that if currently all over the world we have a ratio 1 by 4, in the later years it's going to be 30 women versus one man. So the future of the world is actually not in the hand of a man. Some kind of education we have to develop the women for a future leadership. This leadership is in the favor of a man because if the female population is going to increase, then of course more female has to take part. Now we are fortunate to live in United Arab Emirates. This is an amazing country and it is very smart to take the latest developments. So if you see, uh, in terms of UAE as a role model, there are a lot of women which are already in the ministries, in the government sectors, and if you see even the banking and other organizations, more women are coming in the corporate world. So UAE is very good in getting women on placement in terms of corporate world. But unfortunately, this is not the scenario outside UAE, uh, except the few you will see it's still male dominant society. The Prime Minister will be a man, all the cabinet will be a man. Even the women issues is also settled by consist on the men. So that's something really need this year and serious, uh, serious efforts. This forum is your voice, it's a platform where you can meet the equal size women, they are similar to you, they belong to a different country, they are